Welcome back. In this video, we will finally implement our own uh, our own classification architecture using convolutional neural networks. So, let's quickly implement our own uh, neural network class, which will of course inherit from torch.nn.module. So, let me just declare class net, and it will inherit torch.nn.module. <coughs> And let's quickly create our own initializer or constructor. It will take self as an object or uh, as a variable. And then let's call superclass, the constructor of the superclass. It will take net itself and self. And let's call its initializer to initialize all the important variables and functions. Okay. So, first of all, we will need create a convolutional variable that something that will a function that will uh, make convolution possible the operate perform the operation of convolution so you already know what convolution is if you're watching this video but if you don't then i'll just quickly recap it it's it's kind of a multiplication between a filter and a part of the image data and then it is all summed up together to give one scalar variable so the filter itself is of size uh, let's say 5 into 5 uh, any size let's say it's for f so it that size will be f, f into f for height and width and then into 3 for the number of channels and that is your filter so let's just make a, a variable or a function that will you <coughs> uh, use convolutional in uh, contour d of pytorch to perform convolution so Let's call it convol1 because it first convolution and we'll name convol2 just for the second convolution. So let's just use con2d function and then dot con2d because we have 3d image so we'll use con2d. So let's just look at the documentation real quick what it wants. So first is the input channel number of channels the input image has. You will pass that the output channel means the number of channels you want the output to have the kernel size and stride and padding are set to default values which is 1 and 0 we will we'll leave that as it is and we don't need dilation of groups and bias is set to true by default you can set that to false again I won't disturb the stride because I want just one stride and then I will also leave padding to 0 because uh, the aim here in this video is not to perform the <coughs> not to build the best uh, network as possible uh, the best architecture as possible we just want i just want to demonstrate the use of contour operation and how to use convolutional neural networks how to build them using pytorch not to build the best network itself that's not the uh, aim of this video at all so we'll stick to a lot of defaults uh, up until where we can so the first input is the number of channels so our image is th uh, three layered rgb image so it will be three and the output is arbitrary we can just uh, take any value such as 10 or 20 i'll just say 20 i want output to be 20 and let's say the filter size will be 5 by 5 and it is so you just have to type 5 and then you can just leave stride and padding as it is okay self dot pool so the pooling layer itself so okay Let's name this pool and we'll use a pooling layer and we'll use max pooling, not average pooling. So it will be torch dot nn dot max pool 2d. We will pool uh, for height and width and the filter size will be 2 by 2. So it will skip uh, row to filters. Okay, now next convolution will be self dot convol uh, 2 and we'll name that to torch dot nn dot con 2d again c is in uppercase and we already <coughs> have the output channel uh, so this convol one will output uh, 20 layered image or 20 layered uh, 20 channel data so we'll pass that into it and let's say we want it to convert it into 30 and then we'll use the same filter size that is 5 by 5 okay Now let's create fully connected layers. So self.fc1 will be first fully connected layer. Syntax is torch.nn 
dot linear and here you have to pass the flat end output the number of weights in this one all the parameters in this one so let's just calculate it by the way it should be 30 into 5 by 5 yeah, 5 into 5 but let's just calculate that so to do that let me just bring out this ink space here uh, sketchpad <coughs> so oh, wait a second let me just show you this so the data set cfr10 it contains image of 32 by 32 by, by 3 but that's obvious because three channel image so we are working in 32 by 32 images right so yeah let me just perform some calculations to show you how this works so let's say you have the input of size 32 by 32 by 3 let me adjust this screen properly because i am not able to write at all so yeah okay now let's say you perform first convolution where we have used filter size of 5 and stride is always set to 1 and 0 padding so the resultant the output will be of size 32 well by the way we are using this formula the convolution formula is something like this height or width is equal to uh, height or width previously minus filter size plus 2 times padding the whole divided by stride plus 1 so we'll use the same formula previously height was 32 minus filter size that is 5 padding is 0 then we can just submit this and stride is 1 divided by 1 plus 1 so it will give us 28 and same will <coughs> go for height uh, width so the output will be 28 by 28 by 20 from 3 to 20 because we have changed the number of channels okay then let's say we have passed it into a pooling layer which we have already made that is 2 by 2 pooling so after pooling after we pass this same function in pooling we will get 28 divided by 2 which is 14 so we will get 14 by 14 by 20 it will not change the number of channels it will remain the con it will remain constant again uh, let's say it was con operation right now this is con 1 pool and then con 2 now if we pass the same function o uh, i don't know why i have taken o but yeah okay the the output will be again we use this formula here height now is uh, 14 so 14 minus this we have used the same filter size 5 again padding will, will be 0 and the stride will be 1 plus 1 so 14 minus 5 is 9 and we will add 1 we will get 10 so we will get 10 by 10 uh, and the number of channels we change that to 30 so I guess it's clear till here okay then we will again let's say pull it so we will get 10 divided by 2 because we are using 2 by 2 pulling which is 5 so we will get 5 into 5 into 30 as an output right and these are the number of parameters that we need to convert it into a fully layer network so if you don't understand this pause the video right now and try to work it out on your own if, if you cannot uh, well just uh, read uh, about convolutionals uh, convolutions again it is very simple convolutional operation we have not used any padding or uh, and, and we have just used stride of one so it might be clear so at after all the convolutions and pooling operations of course i have omitted activation activation does not change uh, any dimension so we'll use relu let's say we are we are using relu after this and after this so th that's that and we get all of these parameters so we need to connect these this thing into a fully connected neural network that's why uh, here i'm writing this 30 into 5 by 5 that's what we have calculated these many parameters so from these many parameters uh, let's say we want to go to 300 for the first time and then fully connected network fully connected layer 2 will again just linear from 300 <coughs> to 75 uh, these are just random numbers just 
throwing them off because randomly uh, because I don't know which what to use and then from 75 we'll go to 6 uh, uh, from 75 we will go to 10 because there are 10 classes that is pretty obvious and it has a reason okay so we have created all the functions necessary to build our forward function let's quickly do that oh man so many typos forward it will take self and a uh, data set that is x and then what we will do is we will first perform convolution self dot convol1 and from to x and then we will uh, activate that so we will say self dot uh, <coughs> not self but f as you can see we have already imported functional for this f dot relu to activate that and finally we will enclose that into a pooling layer so self dot pool so here it is again we will do the same f oh sorry we do the same for next convolution that's con 2d and <laughs> everything will remain same except it will become convol 2d finally we will convert this three layered three channeled uh, layer to one uh, single channel so of course we know that it will be converted into this dimensional vector so to do that in pytorch we use view that is tensor dot view this function we'll see we want to remove minus one says that we want to remove uh, the third channel from there so instead it will become a vector that is one by something one by x dimension or x by one dimension so you need to pass the size so it is 30 into 5 and into 5 that's we have already calculated it now finally we can use the ReLU layers that is Now we will use fully connected layer that is self dot fc1. <coughs> we pass in x. <coughs> we'll again repeat that f dot relu, and we'll say self dot fc2 x. And finally, we will just use fc3 layer 3 and we won't use relu here because it will be activated using sigmoid soft max whatever because it's a classification algorithm now finally we will return x the output okay so this right here is our uh, classification architecture using convolutional neural networks implemented in pytorch now in the next video we will try to test this on the data itself we will uh, make our cost functions and epochs and we will try to print all the loss uh, and we will try to see if the loss decreases over time if this network trains on the data thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one